you know, cows are slaughtered in slaughterhouses the way they are. That may not matter to us, but the fact that they have to then travel a thousand miles to get to the store, maybe that matters. Yeah. And maybe then it's, I'm gonna buy from a local. And, and it's interesting that a lot of places know that there's people who care whether something's local or not. And they put locally grown. You know, we go to restaurants that do their best to buy as much as they can local produce. And we support them in that. And yes, it's a little more expensive. And it's true that, well, I'm less likely to buy a Gucci bag mm -hmm. because the, the price I want to pay for the regular bag versus the Gucci bag, I'm going to put into the food I eat. And it was just very compelling. And I agree with you that the most interesting part of this conversation that came, came out for me was that we vote three times a day mm -hmm. with what we eat. Yep. And I got to go back and look in my cupboards to see what it is that I had purchased. And, you know, for me, I was glad to see organics and, and natural foods and no animal products. And, and, you know, we've had this conversation. I've told you that I will drive out of my way to support a company or a restaurant or a store that supports me and what I want. I mean, how many times have we driven 15, 20 miles up to a restaurant? Yeah. Because they are, they are vegan. Yeah. And... Then it's like, well, but then I just drove 20 miles to get there. I mean, what's the carbon? What's the impact of me going to that store? So how do I get one to come here? Well, I start shopping and insisting that my local store provide natural solutions. Mm -hmm. When I go to a, rest a local restaurant, I insist that they create a vegan or a vegetarian option for me. And as more and more people go into these local places in their community and insist on having those things, those companies, because they want your money, will provide that for you. It's true. I mean, how many times do we go and we find a new sushi restaurant and we teach them how to make Our vegan sushi, sushi for yep. us? Yep. Completely vegan. And they love it. They will make it. And we walk in the door and they start making it for us before we even order it because they know we're going to ask for it. It's not on the menu, but they our money is valuable to them. Yep. And so they will make that. Mm -hmm. So we really do vote with our wallet every day, every time we eat, where we choose to eat, the restaurants, the fast food, whatever, even with what we just order. Even if we go to McDonald's, but we insist on ordering salads that would make an impact you know the only reason mcdonald's has a salad menu is because people insisted on it and 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 forced them essentially to have a salad menu mm -hmm. so it, it really is up to us because the more it's true that the more we know the more powerful our choices are and what I loved about this movie, Food, Inc., was that it empowered me with some more knowledge to know really what the impact of my choices make. That I've never really, I grew up in a town in Northern California where eating locally was very natural because it's very agricultural. There's lots of farms and there's farmer's markets basically all year round. Mm -hmm. And then I moved to Los Angeles and it's not that way. Santa Monica has one. And I kind of just got away from it and it wasn't as important. And it was great to have this movie to remind me of the impact of little decisions yep. of do I eat a genetically modified soybean or do I eat a non-genetically modified soybean? And what's the impact of, of choosing with my wallet? Because if more places insist on only buying soy products with non-genetically modified soybeans, then Monsanto will have no choice but to produce non-genetically modified beans rather than the genetic beans that have the resistance to Roundup in them. And so it really is up to us. Mm -hmm. You know, we can't sit back and blame evil corporate America for giving us exactly what we tell them to give us. Yep. If we insist on having a, a hamburger for a dollar, then we're going to continue to get business as usual. And we're going to always have the repercussions of corn fed beef and i recommend everyone read watch this movie just to learn what corn fed beef really means this is not a good thing no and and educating ourselves is part of making decisions that serve us and our world so if you haven't figured it out already listeners the moral of the story is be conscious Make choices that support you and what you want to create for this world. 
and educate yourself. Watch this movie, Food Inc. And there's plenty of other films and documentaries about food in the food industry. Um, so watch them, watch Food Inc. and become educated and then share your comments with us. Go online to talkischeapradio.com in the show notes section and leave your comments on the Facebook page, on Twitter, uh, Twitter slash the Jason Beckett. But get engaged in this conversation. Start engaging other people in the conversation. Share what it means on how we choose to eat. Share what the results are. Because a lot of people just ignorantly do what they're doing. They, they, they make their choice because they think it's the only option. Mm -hmm. And in that ignorance is breakdown. And it's time to break that cycle of ignorance and create working. So that's it. That's, that's the conversation. That's how we can, like Melissa said, vote three times a day on what this world and the food of this world looks like. It has changed me forever, just that show. It really has, and I'm grateful for it. So go and watch it. Get engaged in the conversation. Share your comments. Share your thoughts. Forward the show. Forward the, the link about the movie. Forward the trailer. Whatever it takes to get people engaged in this conversation. Because the only way we can change the world is to empower and inspire that among the people that we interact with. So there it is. Talk is cheap unless you do something different. Yep. So, Melissa, thank you for coming and enjoying this conversation with me. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Thank Maybe you. we'll go watch another controversial movie and talk about it. Let's bring it. All right. So we'll see you guys next week. Bye, everyone. Talk is Cheap is a 16 Stone Media production. This show is hosted by Jason Beckett and co-host Melissa Barlow. All rights reserved. Copyright 2009.